Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer and welcome to another version of Whacked Out Drivers in the Natty Volume 11. Actually the second upload for the day. First things first, time in the lower right hand corner is incorrect. It's actually right around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, give or take a few minutes. But we are approaching an intersection here and you're going to see both cars are coming to a stop there on the left and the right. And there's a truck already at a stop there straight across. First car goes, second car goes, now it's time for the truck to go with their flashers on, or flasher I should say. Now it's our turn to go and notice the car right behind the truck. They come right into the intersection without waiting their turn people. Now here's a situation where if they would have hit us head on it would have been a he said she said thing and without dash cam footage you would have no way to prove that they caused the accident that they pulled out in front of you. Because you can guarantee that every dollar you have that they're going to say that you had the, they had the right of way and they was making the turn and you came out in front of them. You can guarantee that. You seriously think somebody's going to say, I pulled out in front of them, I'm, I'm at fault. I seriously doubt that. Seriously doubt that. The chances of that is slim to none. But if you've got a dash cam in your vehicle, it's an open shut case. I've heard this from police officers that dash cam video is helped out so much. It takes the he said, she said out of it. When you've got video evidence, it's it's all it's it's done. It's over with. It's all when it's all caught on video. Now, here's a situation where Look at all these cars. What if all these cars kept going and nobody hung around? Nobody hung around to be a witness saying this person went into the intersection. Better yet, let's say somebody hung around and said, yeah, they came through the intersection. They turned in front of that car because they saw the wrong thing. But your dash cam can prove that no, you was at the right. Now let's think about that. Your dash cam footage, even though a witness is saying you was at the fault because you didn't have the right of way, your dash cam can prove that by in fact, yes, you did. After that truck had turned, you had the right of way to go through that intersection because everybody else had gone. It was your turn to go. That's a huge statement, folks. My dash cam only cost me $35. That $35 to somebody else might have saved a $100 deductible, $250 deductible, $500 deductible. Did the deductibles go higher? I'm not for sure. One thing I am for sure of, though, because we have a dash cam, we wouldn't have been held at fault. We wouldn't got a ticket. Now, we'd have to hope and pray that the other person had insurance. But again, folks... $35 for this dash cam would have covered our tail in this situation. Because there was no police officer that had witnessed this. And the chances of anybody hanging around getting involved nowadays doesn't happen. If it doesn't involve them, really they could care less. And that's just how society is nowadays. But if it does involve them, they sure would really want somebody to get involved and help them out. But some people are not willing to get involved. Now this video is put up for educational purposes. I want to make sure that's clear. I make no money off of these videos. None whatsoever. Okay? This video is put up to educate people on why you need to have a dash cam in your vehicle. Because the first time you find yourself in an accident like this, or, or let's say if you're pulled over unjustified, okay, the, the officer 
might have saw you do something and you didn't do it. And your dash cam could prove, hey, I didn't go through that red light. You know, that camera can actually save you from a ticket. Let's talk about what else this camera can save you from. You get a ticket, your insurance rates are going to go up. You get into an accident, it's not your fault. And the police officer declares it, it's your fault. Your insurance rates going to go up. You're going to be paying more money every month. You get into an accident, and because the officer can't prove, you know, who was at fault, so it's declared a no fault. Your insurance is going to go up. You know, and the list can just go on and on and on and on and on. Now, all this could have been prevented by a $35 dash cam. Now, everything that I just spoke about, you had to pay to get your vehicle fixed on those accidents. And you had to pay your deductible, which I guarantee you is more than $35. Does it really make sense not to install a dash cam in your vehicle? Let's talk about the camera that we have installed in our vehicle. Now, the camera we have installed in our vehicle is actually it's hardwired in. It's a dual camera setup for $35. And here's the picture of that camera. You see the little square camera on the back that's installed into the back of our vehicle, it shoots out the back window. And we have the mirror camera. Shoots out the front windshield of, of the vehicle. And all this is on a 32 gigabyte memory card, micro SD card. And we get about three hours recording time on that one card. As you can see down at the bottom, it has loop video recording, motion detection. It's got a 4.3 inch display screen that you see with the sports car and the girl there on it as well as a 140 degree view angle and it's recorded with the um, software of a H.264 which makes it easy to pull it out of there and stick it right into your computer and do anything that you need to do with it. It's also got motion detection so Let's say if somebody, if we have it set on motion detection and somebody pulls in front of us, it can record that. If somebody pulls behind us, it can record that if we've got it set up that way. That way, if we're in a parking lot and somebody hits our vehicle, we will have them pulling into that parking spot and hitting our vehicle. We'll have that whole thing captured. Some people will say, isn't that an invasion of privacy? No, it is not an, inv an invasion of privacy because of the fact if you read the beginning of this video, when you leave your home and you're out in the public, you basically give up all rights of your privacy. That is how the law is written. written excuse me. So when you're going to the grocery store, when you're at a, at a park, when you're out at a mall, you know, you're uh, you're basically fair game. You, you'd be amazed on how much somebody's recorded on a given day that people don't know about it. And again, it's not like we pull our card out and look and see, oh, who, who parked in front of us? Who parked behind us? That video would only be looked at if there is damage to our vehicle. Because then we would have a reason to go back and look at that portion of the card to see who hit our vehicle and let's face it that's how this world is nowadays we know somebody where they live now you heard me correctly where they live people they live with or their guest hit the back of their car did they leave a note no they just drove off and they left marks on the back of this person's car. Now, if there was a camera involved in this situation, that would have all been on film. But it's because of stuff like this, you have to do that. Now, if this person gets their car fixed, it's going to cost them to get their car fixed because of somebody else 
hit their car. Nothing they did. They have to come out of pocket now to fix their car. It's not fair. But you got you got to cover your own tail. That's the reason why everybody should have a dash cam in their vehicle. Because if you file a claim, it's going to affect you. It's going to affect your insurance rates. You know, if you're filing your first claim, it might not affect you. If you have Progressive, they have that commercial, well, they have a one claim forgiveness. So it might not affect you. But you might not have that insurance company that's not so forgiving. And it's going to go up. God forbid if you're a teenager and this happens. Okay, now let's talk about what you get with the dash cam when you purchase it. You can see the power cord right there, which we don't, that's not what we use. Like I said, we have ours hardwired. You can also see the straps. The two straps is what straps this to the your current mirror, but we have ours you know, set up a different way. And you see the backup camera, or, or you see the, the, re the rear view camera. But the reason why I, I call it a backup camera, I call it that for a reason. You see those red wires there? Well, those red wires, I think it's red and black wires that stick out like that. You notice if you look real closely by that top loop, you see that red wire is not connected to nothing. That actually gets connected to your reverse lights. This is one of the other cool features about this. Now we haven't had this done yet, and Best Buy said they can do it for about 50 bucks. Um, but what they do is they take and connect those red light, those red wires. I think it's a red wire and a black wire that gets connected to your reverse lights. So when your vehicle gets put in reverse, your LED monitor that is on your mirror turns into a backup monitor with the red the green and the yellow lines on it now I don't know if they move or anything or if it's just a straight backup monitor but it will um, my understanding is it beeps and everything if there's anything in your way or it might flash um, again I think these some cameras do one thing some cameras do another but I don't have it hooked up yet so I can't quote unquote say what it does um, until we have it hooked up. Once I get this hooked up, then I plan on doing a, an overall um, video on how everything works with this. But we've had no problems with this whatsoever. The only real, really hookup or hiccup is is the audio, and I think that might be because you know the windows are down, or it might be because of the engine. Um, that, but for thirty-five dollars, I really can't complain. A dual camera dash cam setup. Hey, again, for $35, two cameras to save you hundreds of dollars, it is by far the best investment that you can make. Um, and I really, I can't, I can't say that enough. I cannot say that enough. Thank you for watching. Drive safe. And please remember, distracted driving has taken way, way too many lives. You know, put the cell phones down. That text message can wait until you put your vehicle in park. Your family loves you and wants to see you at the end of the day. You know, there's no text message out there. There's no message on Facebook, on Twitter, or any other social media that cannot wait until your vehicle is in park. Thank you for watching. Drive safe. This is the Bulldozer, and I'm out of here. Here's some more videos you might be interested in. The video on the senior screen is where we had an encounter with the Metro bus driver in downtown Cincinnati. Traffic was messed up, but he was supposed to stay behind his white line at a red light, and he came through He came through the intersection outside his lane of travel and was trying to go around cars and was trying to cut off cars that was in our lane of travel. And if you watch this video, you'll see, actually, he gets so close to the back of our car, you can barely see the bike rack on the front of the car. The video on the left hand side of the screen is where we were, leave, we were leaving Good Samaritan Hospital on the west side of town and this dually truck blows this red light and almost t-bones this jeep and it's just absolutely insane. Here it comes right here and look how fast this dually truck is coming and he must have looked up at the last second and swerved to miss this jeep otherwise he would have flipped that jeep. 
And the video on the right hand side of your screen is where these people decide to run a red light right in front of a Delhi police officer. I mean, they was going so fast, their entire car tilted to the right just as the Delhi police officer was coming up over that hill. It was absolutely hilarious. This, these people absolutely picked the wrong time to run that red light. And the thing is, they didn't even slow down and see if anybody was crossing the street or anything. Don't forget, folks, to make sure you check out the other videos on the channel. And just so everybody knows, I don't make no money doing this. This is all educational purposes. This is a tool to help educate people giving them reasons on why they need to have a dash cam in their vehicle. Just so everybody's aware of that. I make no money doing this, okay? So don't think all these videos are put up to make money, because they're not. This video is uploaded as an educational tool. And if I'm not mistaken, that is also put in the description. This video is uploaded for educational purposes. So again, everybody, drive safe. And remember, like I said in this video, you know, your family wants to see you make it home. So keep your eyes on the road and out of the cell phones. And that text message can wait till the car is in park. This is the bulldozer. Drive safe. And I'm out of here. Floor, just to revel on your own on a bed to bed to bed to trip on a bed to bed to bed to trip on a bed to bed